Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I would like to share with you the importance of vitamin B12, especially for vegans and the elderly. I am sharing this video in response to a question from a loyal subscriber. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin. It helps your body produce DNA and red blood cells, supports your immune system, and encourages healthy nerve function. Vitamin B12 also helps prevent megaloblastic anemia that makes people tired and weak. Vitamin B12 is naturally found in animal products, including fish, meat, poultry, eggs, milk, and milk products. Vitamin B12 is generally not present in plant foods. Vegans and the elderly need to make sure they are getting enough vitamin B12. People who do not eat any meat, fish, egg, or dairy products are at risk of becoming vitamin B12 deficient because there are no known plant foods that are natural sources of vitamin B12. Fortunately, eating fortified foods such as breakfast cereals, soy milk, and vegetarian meat substitutes can help prevent a potential deficiency. Additionally, as we age, our stomachs produce less gastric acid. This condition is called atrophic gastritis. It reduces the body's ability to absorb vitamin B12 that's bound to protein in foods. To understand this better, two steps are required for the body to absorb vitamin B12 from food. First, hydrochloric acid in the stomach separates B12 from the protein to which vitamin B12 is attached to in food. After this, vitamin B12 combines with a protein made by the stomach called intrinsic factor and is absorbed by the body. Furthermore, many argue that with a proper healthy vegan or vegetarian diet, the bacteria in our digestive system will produce B12. While this is true, it is not absorbed. B12 is absorbed in the ileum, the last section of the small intestine, while our bodies produce B12 in the large intestine. Therefore, it cannot be absorbed. Tempeh, miso, sea vegetables, and other plant foods are sometimes reported to contain vitamin B12, but these are not reliable sources. The good news is B12 supplementation is easy. Lots of foods are fortified with B12, but if you don't do prepackaged processed foods, then you'll need to supplement. There are plenty of supplements available, and some nutritional yeasts are good sources of B12, but it is important that the yeast come from a good source. Please click on the link above or in the description for a video on the benefits of nutritional yeast. The recommended dosage of B12 is two to six micrograms daily. The supplement is inexpensive, but difficult to absorb through the digestive system. You can look for forms that are taken under the tongue, liquid form, supplements that are sealed to prevent destruction in the gut, or get a B12 injection. Also, please remember if you choose vitamin supplementation, B vitamins should be taken together in a B complex form. And ideally, B vitamins should be taken with a whole food, multiple, and fresh raw foods. Be sure to get enough vitamin B12 to fuel your brain, your blood, and your heart. Thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.